Good evening and welcome to Ending the Day with God on Friday the 4th of October. Our opening music this evening was Samuel Sebastian Wesley's Wash Me Throughly. Let us pray. Under the wings of the Spirit, the Spirit of the shining dark, let there be rest. The flame dies down, the autumn moon is born. Let there be rest. In the ending of the day, in the time of letting go, let there be rest. We give you the harvest of the day. What has been learned and lost, and what has marked the pathways of our heart. God our Father, we pray for a humbler knowing, for our hope to come from those who experience poverty and persecution. May they live and sing aloud. We pray for a deeper presence with all who are struggling to find a place to shape a voice that is their own. May they live and sing aloud. We give you the harvest of the day. What must be carried and what must be set down and what must be shared as food for all. Amen. We come now to this evening's reading and reflection. We continue to read from the book of Proverbs and our theme, the boomerang effect. Our reading comes from chapters 26 and 27. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it and a stone will come back on the one who starts it rolling. A lying tongue hates its victims and a flattering mouth works ruin. Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring. Let another praise you and not your own mouth, a stranger and not your own lips. Better is open rebuke than hidden love. Well meant are the wounds a friend inflicts, but profuse are the kisses of an enemy. Thanks be to God. We come now to this evening's reflection. Today's reading warns of the boomerang effect of our actions. Somebody once said, I accidentally reversed my car into a half-finished inspection pit in a friend's garden. The kind of pit referred to in today's reading, however, is a deliberate pit dug intentionally to trap a victim. It is the product of an evil purpose. The boomerang used by indigenous peoples in Australia is likewise designed not for malicious ends, but to return to its owner once it's accomplished its task of hunting for food. The stones in the reading are the kind of missile aimed deliberately at a victim in order to kill or maim. In the case of both the pit and the stones, the intention is malevolent. But when this is so, the writer warns us that the digger of the pit and the thrower of the stone will themselves fall victim to their own evil purposes. Today we might call this the law of unintended consequences. When we wish harm on another, harm will come back upon ourselves or others. I suppose that most of us are unlikely to dig pits or throw stones, but we may try to trap people in other ways, perhaps by deliberately misleading them, confusing them with our arguments or tricking them into saying or doing something they regret. Jesus had to deal with this kind of trap several times. Stones also come in many forms, from the barbed remark uttered to hurt another, to the malicious rumour that can derail another person's life. The writer warns against all forms of deception, repeating the warning to beware of false praise, especially when we praise ourselves, but to remain open to honest criticism. (coughs) We all live in glass houses. The stones we throw 
cause more damage than we expect. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Keep us, Holy Spirit of air, under the shadow of your wings. Keep us, Holy Spirit of earth, in the darkening of your trees. Keep us, Holy Spirit of water, in the stillness of your depths. Keep us, Holy Spirit of fire, in the embers of your heart. Amen. And now let us face the dark without fear. It is the night of creation, the night of birth, the night of resurrection. Let the divine darkness bless us and the Christ light guide us, now and always. Amen. Amen. 